Grazing behavior is important to understand because it influences not only what the animals have available to them, but how they make choices in what they eat. A uh, cow's job every day is to go out and find the best diet it possibly can. And so by understanding what they want, when they want it, you can use that information then to have a better estimate of their nutritional intake. As a herd, the animals have basically two grazing cycles a day and they have preferred areas. They will remember where the better parts of the pasture are, where there are more preferred forages. So as you walk across, you wanna look and see what plants do you see that are grazed and how short are they being grazed. Is the predominant plants that are being grazed the preferred plants or are they your second, third, fourth choice type plants? So the animals are gonna to try to pick the best plant they can but as you go through the winter, the more preferred forages begin to be less and less. And so by understanding and identifying which plants are being grazed at a given time, you can get an idea as to whether the nutritional value of that pasture is stable or is it going down. There are key areas in determining areas that you can monitor because it is difficult to try to look at and, and, and see large pastures that we deal with. And so what you have to do is try to find a, an average or a typical type of an area. And there may be two or three areas you go look at depending on how the ecological sites are laid out. And if a person is interested in determining what ecological sites you've got on your land, you can go to your NRCS, National Resource Conservation Service office. They will help you print up a map and determine what kind of ecological sites you've got to work with. And as you're taking forage samples, you're gonna to want to represent each of the different ecological sites that you have on the place so that you include all of the species that the animals are going to be trying to eat. When you go look at those areas and you go month after month, you need to remember to compare. And now it's very simple to just stop drop your hat as a reference point as to what the size is and take some pictures with that. This gives you a reference area that you can use to come back and say, well, this pasture is getting too short. We're gonna need to move and rotate a pasture or put these cattle in another pasture, or we're gonna have to step up supplement if those options are not there for you. And so you just need to be able to monitor all of those things, observe, learn, and, and just improve your ability to monitor that pasture as you go through time. In later videos, we're going to talk about plant identification and nutrient requirements throughout the year. With all three of these videos, you can take your knowledge of grazing behavior, what plants are available to your cattle, and their nutritional requirements throughout the year and monitor how well your pastures are providing nutrients for your herd. Once you know this, you can develop a comprehensive supplemental feeding program that will keep your operation productive and profitable.